Joining us for more on all this is Tennessee Senator Bill Haggerty. Senator, good to have you here. Um, do you be believe that so. Manchin will finally come around at some point on this? Well, it's hard to say. I think he was very clear about the problems that he has with this bill. And uh, the problems are actually massive. We've been falling through deadline after deadline that Nancy Pelosi has artificially set. They're not in control of the situation right now. And I think Joe Manchin has made it very clear. They need every single Democrat to get this through. We're in a 50-50 divided Senate. They don't have Manchin. And I think there's several other Democrats that are in the same place that he is. Any names? Well, I'll let Joe Manchin take the lead. For the group, but uh, certainly I think he's articulating a sense that I think uh, other Democrats uh, certainly feel. They don't even know what's in this bill in many cases. And as they begin to, to look at it, as they see the fact that it's not paid for, it's going to add trillions of dollars of debt to our children and grandchildren's backs. It's not good for the economy. So many things as they come out about this bill are turning out to be very, very bad for the American economy. Because to your point, we were talking about this this morning, uh, how many more are behind him? Uh, is he just the public face of this uh, for his more moderate wing of the party? The editorial board at the Wall Street Journal makes a similar point as you. Uh, in their piece this morning, Manchin nails the progressive hostage strategy. Yeah. Uh, it writes, someone has to stand up to the left's ransom demands, and President Biden has shown that he will not. House Republicans ought to make Democrats pass the infrastructure bill with their own votes. If the progressives want to kill it, that's their choice. But they shouldn't be able to use GOP votes to ease their way to passing the yes. largest expansion of government in decades. You say what to your Republican colleagues in the House on that point? Well, I predicted this from the very beginning. Back in August, I said that what we're creating with this so-called bipartisan infrastructure bill is the hostage that Nancy Pelosi and the far left wing of her party need to force the more moderate Democrats to vote for this massive transformational socialist debt bomb that they're putting in place. Uh, I urged my, my colleagues back then, I actually got five of my colleagues here in the Senate to join me after putting up a heck of a fight for several days. But we moved several votes at that point. I'd love to see more move on because I think what the public is seeing is what's really happening here. We do not need to transform our economy in a vision that Bernie Sanders is putting forward, a vision that would take us further and further towards socialism, and certainly not at a time when our economy is trying to recover from a recession. We're going to put more and more crushing debt and more and more taxes on the creators of jobs here in America. This is not the time nor the place. Well, certainly the American people can feel the high price of just about everything. Indeed. And the polling shows um, that they attribute that to more and more government spending. And here we're looking at administration that is pushing for more of that. In a tweet just a moment ago, you pointed out just that, Senator. Prices for everyday goods have skyrocketed under yes. President Biden. He must be held accountable for the harm he is causing American families. Which brings us to this moment and what happens next and whether or not the moderates uh, will hold him accountable for this, considering we don't have a congressional budget office score. That could be almost two weeks before we even see one. And you talk about the concerns of Manchin. I don't know what the word you use to describe them, but massive, big, whatever they were, the differences yes. are huge. Steny Hoyer disagrees. This is coming from uh, our congressional correspondent on the Hill just now. Mm -hmm. Steny Hoyer says Senator Manchin has expressed some reservations about some of uh, some of uh, what wants to be done. Obviously, mitigate methane is one of the issues, but there are other issues as well. And the understanding is that hopefully today we will be able to resolve those issues. I mean, he and Nancy Pelosi are to still talking about something getting done today, Senator. They're on a different planet, Sandra. I mean, this is extraordinarily complicated. What they're talking about doing is destroying the fast fossil fuel industry here in America. I don't think we're going to move swiftly to do that. And the way they're going to pay for this, the amount of taxes that would be required to do this would be absolutely backbreaking to the American economy right now. I don't see this happening at the type of, type of pace or the speed that they're talking about. Not at all. Especially with so many not knowing exactly what's in it and how much it's going to cost and uh, still not even having a score from the CBO on it. Senator, really appreciate your time Thank you, this sir. afternoon. Thank you. Good to be with you.